<laughs> oh boy, we're back here. Ah, life just loves to go around and around and around in a circle, especially in this game. I mean, it is time you might have realized in our in our last video of the server that uh, we're getting quite old. Uh, I'm currently 94 years old, and we all know what happens once you got, start getting old of age. You get your gray hairs, you get your wrinkly forehead, you get your wrinkly skins elsewhere, and you end up dying and losing your character. And we don't want that, especially now that we're finally building a ship. We're 200 years old, and we haven't built a ship yet. <laughs> but uh, we're back at the Miola Isle of Gold. Uh, it's a little bit different to it to what it was last time we were here. Uh, a lot more ships around. Um, it looks like there's, yeah, every kind of crew has a ship here just so they can run in and do what they got to do inside of there. The problem is, uh, there's a lot of bad creatures out here. There's a lot of bats for a start. Um, and to be honest, I actually haven't, I haven't gone any further down to actually explore and see what's down and waiting in the cave. Cause I know last time we tried this, the cave got a little bit messy. Um, at least from the, the previous guys that had gone through and attempted it before I got to it. So uh, we're going to just try and swim. <laughs> we're going to try and swim to shore, I think. See if we can evade some of these little scary creatures. Um, yeah, really, I just, I just, is that a bat? Oh, it's a little seagull. Uh, we just want to be able to get in and get out without, you know, any trouble. And hopefully come out about 80 years younger or so. There's a little turtle down here. Uh, up ahead, we got a wolf. We got some bats, but the bats seem a little bit preoccupied, and I'm sure we're going to come across a couple of snakes up here as well. Um, see, it's like a straight line. It's not that bad. It, I just got to get past this wolf. The wolf is probably going to be the biggest problem. And then the bats over there, of course. You know what? Stuff it. If things get... Why am I running so slowly? If things go that badly, we just... Uh, we try and try and try again until we succeed. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, we're in... Oh. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. You guys can't see this. I can't even see it. That entrance is well and truly blocked up, though. Oh, come on. Who done that? Who be doing this? Who's be blocking up the pathway with the bats? How do I lure them out of there? Did I just punch one? Alright, and we're out of there. Are they chasing? Oh, what? They can't get past this point? This is like the little bottleneck? <clears throat> oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, somebody. All right. A few people have died here. There's some uh, there's some backpacks just sitting <laughs> right above our heads. Um, that actually might be a good thing. I'm just going to sit here for a, for a couple seconds. We're going to hope that these bats kind of just get over their troubles with me and maybe just forgive me for punching them in the face um there is one sitting right on top of the fountain over there but hopefully he doesn't come and you know do what they're known for um i i guess if we could just sneak around which we successfully seem to be doing as long as there's uh we've got a bat and a scorpion yep you know what we're just gonna run it we are just gonna run it, baby. Oh, no. No. What? <laughs> All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Did you just see? Did you just see all the bodies that just swam? Or, like, I guess drifted over my head as I died just then? Oh, I thought we had it for a second. We got so close. So close. At least the wolf's over there now, and I can just sneak up behind this big old pedestal thing. Um, holy bajolis. Oh, eggs and meatballs. I can't believe we got that close. The problem is, all we just did was drive like... T I should have I should have led them off the cliff. That's what we should have done. But instead, I just went for glory, and it didn't pay off. It didn't pay off one bit. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, let's see. Uh, let's see what the status of the cave is now that we've gone and just messed everything up. Because I'm pretty sure a bunch. See, I can barely see, but there's definitely a lot of bats sitting right on top of the fountain. All right. Well, I think there's a bat on my tail as well. Let's just go for it, baby. Let's just go. Jump it. Leap it. Leap it. Leap it. Oh, 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 oh! Rejuvenated, baby. Rejuvenated. Yes. <laughs> oh 
man. I'm not gonna lie. Did not expect that to go so well. Well, we're done. <laughs> we're done down there. We're heading back up to the old rusty nail uh, where we're gonna continue working on our Indiana man or India man. This guy right here, our new ship. I'll see us up there. Ah, there she is. There's my big old girl. I've gone ahead and built like a bit of a foundation thing so that we don't have to swim back and forth with our resources because that's just, that's just annoying. And it's one of those things I don't need to be doing. No more water, no more getting my feet wet, no more none of that. Um, I've, I've also gone ahead and borrowed Dumbo 2.0 from Ian. Ian's like, yo, you can use my teams. It's all good. Like it saves time, it saves energy, collect your resources so much faster. Go ahead and use them. I might have, you know, paraphrased a little bit there, but um, the gist of it was he said we couldn't use his teams. So I've gone ahead and borrowed Dumbo to help us with our wood, thatch, fiber collection. I'm pretty sure he can handle everything. Um, and I've also gone ahead and crafted us a set of armor to hopefully help with the, uh, the slight issue of temperature modulation and, um, you know, our hunger and that sort of stuff. Because what has actually happened, and I completely forgot about this, but last time I ran a respec and uh, redesignated my, uh, what do you call them, skills and levels and that sort of stuff, I completely forgot about fortitude. So we have zero points in fortitude, which is ridiculous, because before I did that, we had 100 points in fortitude, and we never had to worry about eating, we never had to worry about the cold or the heat or the rain or the nothing. Um, now, unfortunately, we've gone and blown that all to bits. So we'll have to work on that, but it's all good. But uh, I guess we should get back onto our ship here, where we're currently... I think we're working on... Ports? Well, gun ports are one thing that we can potentially... Oh, we need metal for these as well! Wood, fiber, thatch, and metal. See, we need a rhino or something like that. Um, but on top of that, we also need... What are all the ship parts? I just don't know. Uh, planks. Planks is the other one that I was thinking of. So we also are going to need ourselves uh, planks. Which are these old... F no, that's the small wood planks. Wait, where's the large planks? Wood. Here we go. Small wood plank, medium wood plank. I guess, you know what? I guess we'll just craft one of each. And uh, I, guess, I guess we'll just have to work it out from there. We'll, we'll just test them. We'll see if we can actually place these on the sides of our ship. And then when it comes to the actual metal ports... Uh, not the metal ports, the gun ports or whatever you call them. We'll, uh, we'll work that out as well. So... This here is, I think, the metal-sized one. And it looks as though it cannot be placed on a ship of this size. <laughs> okay, I guess we need a large one. And this would be the small one then, I assume, right? Oh, boy. Uh, I don't want to be building in a storm like this. This isn't what we want. This is not ideal. It is also possible that we haven't um, learnt the actual ship parts. Like, can I not... Have I not learned how to craft a large one? Or am I just in a smithy? In a smithy! It's telling me in a smithy! Craft a wooden large plank. Okay. Planks. What have I done wrong? Why is my smithy not letting me craft the large planks? Also, it looks like even with our leather armor, we're still a little tiny bit cold. Which does not surprise me at all. Oh, right there. Okay. Because that makes complete and utter sense. But then if I go and type in large... Oh, no, they're there. Oh, I'm losing my mind, yo. I'm losing my mind. Anyways, it's fiber, it's metal, it's thatch, and it's wood. Easy peasy, baby. Easy peasy. Let's go, little Dumbo. Um, I think we're going to absolutely... M That's just a bore in front of us, isn't it? I think we're actually going to massacre all of this stuff. It's going to be amazing. Yeah, look at that. That's just fiber, though. I need trees as well. Am I collecting trees? Wait. Wait. I did it before! I literally did it before! <laughs> I thought the elephants are good for trees. What do we got in here? Yeah, look. Aged wood. Strong wood. Uh, thatch. Thatch. And then... Oh, wait. No, that's thatch. Oh! But what about fiber? Do we collect any fiber or just berries? Oh, there we go! Look! Oh, I'm looking the wrong way? No, I didn't even understand it, yo. I didn't even understand it, but all of a sudden, wood is just fine. There we go. Sorry, little seagull. You got in the way, my dude. It's not my fault. There's nothing I could have done to avoid that. But there we go. Look at all of that wood. Oh, we're starving. Fantastic. Just amazing. We almost need some uh, micronutrients to get our all our nutrients back in order, because I just keep on eating too many of them. But at the end of the day, it's all good, baby. It's all good. 
Are we actually collecting fiber or not? Because I don't think we are. That's thatch. Plenty thatch and wood. We might actually need to borrow a bear as well. Just to get us, like, I don't know, to collect the little bushies. Unless there's like a, another collection button that I don't know about. But I don't think there is. All right. Well, you know what? We'll just go and collect all the wood, all the thatch that we're potentially going to need anytime soon. And then uh, I guess we'll go and grab one of our bears. And we'll uh, use him to go and collect the rest of the fiber that we need as well. Yeah, looks like uh, <laughs> we're still having issues, unfortunately, with the old, whatchamacallits, fortitude. The little food just ain't lasting and we're probably going to end up dying. Due to lack of vitamins or over vitamining damage. I don't even know how that works. You don't you don't die if you have too many of a certain nutrient in real life, do you? Or would I just not know enough about health to know that that's a thing or not? <laughs> Anyways, we got all this wood now. And we got some fancy creepy music as well. Oh, how eerie. So nice though. Okay. So, let's see what else we're missing. Get all of our wood, all of our thatch, all of our good stuff, our strong wood, our aged wood inside of here. And there's our large plank. So yeah, fiber. Fiber is what we are desperately in need of. You know, I could, I, I, <laughs> I built this foundation. I built this little bridge that we don't need to go in the water. Yet here I am jumping in the water. We're definitely gonna go and grab one of the bears just to speed up this process. We can of course also use this little guy but I don't think it's overly efficient. You're looking at like, I don't know, 20 per swing. Just not gonna cut it. We ain't got time for that. I wanna get all of the walls up on this ship by the end of today, if all goes according to plan. Oh, and of course, you know, your boy uh, your boy comes up here to build a ship and uh, naturally, oh, someone's taken this, someone's taken my sleepy. Why are there just bears everywhere? Surely, uh, Surely, but uh, Ian doesn't want bears just cramping around everywhere. He wants his bears up close and personal with his base, I'm sure. But naturally, you know, you make your way up north of the world and uh, you have a couple stragglers following closely behind. Just making sure we don't get lonely, I'm sure. All right, sit close, my little berry friend. There we go. Look at all the straws. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Imagine having to do this by hand. 2,000 straw, that would be ridiculous. However, this is only enough for one gun port. Not gun port, we're not even doing gun ports, we're just doing the hull, like the large planks. So for every, for every plank, I think it was roughly two to two and a half thousand of this fiber. So we're still gonna need very many much more, but this is definitely speeding things up. To be honest, what I'm really excited about is doing the interior of the ship. I cannot wait for that. Just, I don't know, finally being able to deck out the inside of a ship the way I want to do it. Not that I've got any issues with what anybody else has done with their ships, because they're actually really, really easy to navigate, really easy to, I don't know. I just, I guess I've never had a base on this world just yet, or in this game. I've never had my own base. I've never had much inventory control. I've never just had storage to just go and put whatever I want where I want it or lay it out exactly as I need. So it's going to be a refreshing change and I'm really, really excited about it. All right, but I want to chop these trees down. Let's just make sure we're just focusing on what we need to. And you know what? While we're, while we're, while we're out here, there's no point just stopping at the uh, all of this fiber. We may as well head over here and see if we can find a couple little met... Sorry, little monkey dude. I'm really not trying to kill anything, I promise. Um, we may as well head over here and see if we can get ourselves a metal. We're gonna need it. We're gonna need it eventually. May as well kill two, kill, kill, kill two birds with one stone and come home with the double resources. And I think, is this it right here? So apparently I can just, all right, apparently you can do this. You can hold H. Aha, it's a pure copper note. Perfection. Yeah, you can hold H while looking at a resource and it tells you what's inside of it. Which is good. Which is awesome because I don't really know visually what we're looking at. For example, this rock is just straight up granite. Um, come here, my little sleepy friend. Sleepy friend? What do we got? What's this little fella right here? Bit of limestone and chert. Not quite what I'm looking for. This one here looks... Uh, it's got copper in it. Not a lot though. Not a lot. Not enough. Not enough. Wait, where's my little sleepy buddy? 
Oh, he's stuck in the trees. Looks like we've been followed by a couple of friends as well. What was that? Acer roller? I looked at an Acer roller. I have no idea what that was. It's not this. No, that's just Chala de None. It must have been... Oh, this thing. It's got apples on it. Acer roller apples. Isn't Acer roller like a Pokemon character or something? I still wear of it. Aha. This is what we need. There it is. <laughs> yeah, okay. So it's these nice little small green ones that give you copper, which actually makes sense because doesn't copper. Copper is like an orangish type metal, but when it's in contact with oxygen and it oxidizes, it goes a greenish color, I'm pretty sure. Rather than, I guess, what arc leads you to believe, which is like all metal is gold, apparently. Not true at all, but you know, you guys are smart enough to know that without me telling you. That's what teachers are for. <laughs> okay, I think this is enough copper for now. We've got ourselves a solid two, three thousand of the good stuff. We should at least be able to get a solid... Get out of my way, tree. Get out of my way, tree. Tree, you're a piece of work, aren't you? Oh, come on, the trees are like anti-bear protection. I'm just getting stuck on everything now. This is embarrassing. So I decided to grab a little tiny bit more fiber along the way back to our little shipyard. And oh, I thought I leveled up there, but he leveled up, not me. Oh, that's unfortunate, but it's okay. Look at this. We should not need to go on another collection in quite a little while. Um, that one there. We got some more up here. What else have we got? We got some scales and stuff. Um, the metal is on me, of course. You got any more copper or anything like that hiding up here? We got jute. See, a lot of this stuff isn't mine, so I don't think I should be taking it. So we'll leave all that on there. But let's go dump it all inside of our smithy. And now when I type in large, it's going to give me my large wooden plank. Fantastic. Look at it all. Wait. It's thatch that I... Oh, I need a lot more thatch. We need like a lot more thatch. <gasps> What's a good thatch collector? <laughs> Could I only craft one? You know what? That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> I was expecting that to go so much further. But we at least have ourselves one. No, no, stop, stop. You're going to get yourself stuck. You're going to get sick. Get... No, just stop, just stop, just stop. I want to at least put one of these up because we've at least made one. How many of these are we going to need? All right, just for the bottom level. One on the back. Okay, you know what? Let's count the size. One, two, three, four. This is a wide ship. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then is there anything on the front? I think it's just that ten. And then you have to go up from here. So just across the front of the ship, which I'm assuming... I don't even know if you can do gun ports along here, though. Am I supposed to, like... Yeah. I guess we have to work out how many gun ports and stuff like that we want, too, right? Because... It's not all, I think you just kind of put the gun ports where you want them to be. It's not like any designated spots, I'm pretty sure. And for that, we need more thatch as well. So I think we'll hold on to what we have for the time being. We're not going to go and make, well, we can't make any more as it is. We're not going to go and place it down just yet, but we definitely need to go and collect more thatch. I'm going to double check as to whether Dumbo can help us with that, but Dumbo might be more of a wood collector. Well, at least that's what I'm starting to think. Yeah, look at that, straight. Oh, nah, the fronds. But I need like 1,500. So, I, I don't know now. Who's the good wood killer? I'm assuming it would be, see, it's actually better. I'm better off doing this. So for every like three trees, we get ourselves a port basically. So 30 trees or thereabouts is gonna get us what we're looking for. Yep, okay, by hand. By hand it is. So we've gone and collected a bunch more th Thatch, and I think we've got about uh, just over 10,000 of it now. So we can actually start crafting a bunch of stuff. Nowhere near the 21 that we actually need to get the base, to get the base, get the ship done. But uh, we can at least get a solid start. Um, first up, before we go into like a mass crafting spree though, I do want to see, or at least make sure I know what we're doing with these gun ports. Oh, okay, that was it. Okay, so they can't sit along this bottom level. They can only sit along that top part. All right, that's good to know. That means we can we can basically craft all of these bottom parts without having to, without just sabotaging, I don't know, any gun ports and having to redo them or anything like that. So that's, that's good to know. What that means is we can essentially craft 21 of these fellas, or even more of them. Yeah, we can craft 21 of these. <laughs> yeah, we placed one of them. 21 of those. 
maybe a couple more without ever having to worry about uh, anything, really. Without having to worry about deleting them. I'm getting lost in my own words, but we can go and craft seven right this second. And I assume it's going to be, it actually might be wood that we're running out of now. Wood and, or oh, wood's getting closed, but definitely thatch. Fiber and metal are fine. We should never, say so our bear's good. We do not need our bear, well, we shouldn't need our bear for much longer ever again. Probably, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna jump to those extremities, but we shouldn't need it for quite some time. Anyways, let's go and get this bottom level as filled in as we can possibly make it. Oh, we are making progress, baby. We are making progress. That's what I like to see. I'm actually so excited about this. This is awesome. Except for when I just go and fall in the ocean. This is really cool. Um, oh, it pains me that I've waited this long to actually do this sort of stuff. It's great. Anyways, more tree chopping it is. Uh, it's going to go and bugger me with the old... Yeah, it's going to give us like no thatch. As per usual, but we do obviously, like I said, need wood as well, so we may as well just take both down at once. I wonder if there's a way to adjust what we're actually harvesting. I don't think there is, unfortunately. Worth a shot though, and I can almost guarantee a bunch of you saw this coming before I did. Uh, I break, I break, my, I break me pick. I break me pickaxe. Yeah. And, oh, come on, man. I was gonna say, we're back from another resource collection right there. I actually had to make a little old stop over at uh, Ian's house. We'll call it just straight, straight up Ian's house. We had to make a quick little stop because I was getting rather thirsty. So we now got three water skins, hopefully to never, ever, ever, ever get thirsty. You know what, we probably just need a water barrel in our own, uh, in our own little base setup thing over here and then we never got to worry about it again. Come on. Let's go and grab all of these resources, though. We got plenty enough, maybe even enough to get the whole bottom section of our uh, our ship completed. Let's find out. That there is good. Okay. We're actually, uh, we're starting to pack a little bit of weight here as well. I don't think I've ever seen my little weight bar so full. Anyways, we have all together, uh, 5, 10, 11,000 and a little bit on the side. And then we got oh, some bark and some fronds and some more strong wood as well. Okay, so we are looking at getting ourselves some large wooden planks. As far as metal goes, you know what, we should, we should be good for metal for a very long time as well. Uh, I think we've only got enough for 10. Yeah, on the dot, baby, on the dot. Well, we're going to get exactly that amount. And that might actually be enough to tie up the entire base of our ship. Maybe one or two more. But the bottom is definitely completed. Let's find out. Let's find out. Let's find out. Oh, I, keep, I keep thinking we're going to miss that jump one day. But so far, so good. So far, so good. So, large wooden planks. Let's go. One, two, three. Now over to the other side. One, I actually like the way this works as well. It's a very, very simple shipbuilding method. Uh, two more to go. One, and that's it. Okay, so we still need ourselves one, two, and another third one at the back. Yeah, okay, I thought that, but that back part extended all the way along. It looks like I was wrong about that. Uh, but I actually don't know what resources we're missing now. To get the rest of the bottom done. I think it was just thatch, but it might also be wood. Thatch and wood. Yeah, a lot of wood. And we're actually getting quite close on fiber as well. This is a really expensive. There's actually no price difference between the two either. Gun ports and the plank parts are identically the same. So I can actually work out the exact amount of resources we need to get this completed then. Um, by trying to place our gun port thing. So, one, two, three. You know what? We need a lot. We need a lot. That's the answer to the equation. We need a lot more than we have, a lot more than we have right now. So I'm gonna go smash down some more trees and I'll be back shortly. Oh boy, we have been at it for some time now. Hold on a second. Wait, 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 wait. Where's all my fiber? Oh wait, hold on. Am I looking at the wrong inventory? I sure hope so. This guy here. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. I was going to say, I just went and collected so much fiber. And then it was just gone. And I was like, wait, wait, hold on a second. I was just collecting vegetables all day. No, no, no. So, we've been on quite the collection spree. Um, <laughs> a lot of straw, as you can see. Uh, and we should have a whole bunch 
of other goodness in here as well. Um, yeah, stocked up once again. We can craft ourselves another 10. I think we're going to go 8. Let's go 8 for now, though. Um, plus the 4 that we've already got. Maybe, maybe I'll even cancel a couple of these. There we go. Okay, so 7 plus 4 that we already had. That's 11. Um, okay, so. Let's go and see exactly how many of these we need or how many more we need or at least how far that these bunch will get us we got the little back panel we got the side panel and then we got that panel that's the complete bottom layer completed obviously we can't have any gun ports there which is why i've actually got a gun gun port on me so i can check so that one there has to be like that um as for gun ports so basically we're going to be anywhere that we can place a gun port we're not going to place a plank just yet but if it doesn't let me place a gun port, then we'll place a plank. So this front corner right here clearly needs one of these bad boys. And I'm assuming on the other side as well. So we'll go and throw one around there too. There we go. Now gun ports all the way around the uh, side of this as well. I'm assuming we might need to place one of these planks on the back part of the ship like we already have. Yep, that part there. Fantastic. Um, I guess we're going to walk up the ladder and see exactly how many more of these types of areas there are. Just so we can work this out perfectly. We need it to be absolutely perfect. Um, so this here, these can run all the way across the front. In fact, you can actually go too high up the front over here. That's... Oh, you can put a gun port on the front of it too? Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. That's actually really, really cool. Um, I think we might have... We might we might have crafted all the planks that we're going to need. It might just be all gun ports from here on out. Uh, no. No, maybe. This top section. So the gun ports will basically complete... Can we place them on the back? Oh, no. That's, that's, that's just straight up. That's what that is. Um, okay. So this area here, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, there we go, there we go. Okay, uh, that's a little small piece, but sure, sure to be sure. Uh, and then what? What sits there though? Maybe we need like a small piece or a medium piece or something, because it doesn't look like I can actually fill in. We can actually place them up the top over there as well. So we got that one there. Uh, that's gonna be a gun port. That'll be probably a gun port maybe as well. I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Um. What goes in this little top area, though? Is that just railing? That can place there. There's got to be something sitting in there that I can't quite place, unless it... It's definitely not a gun port. It can't be. Okay. Well, it looks like we're going to be need those... We're going to be needing those extra little walls that I didn't craft down here. Anyways, three of them. At a minimum, we might actually need a couple more. I just want to get these things done! I honestly thought that today we were going to get this whole entire, like, hull of the ship. The whole, the whole, every wall of the ship completed. Boy, was I wrong. We've still got a whole layer to do. Pretty much double what we've already done. That's crazy. But I guess it is what it is. I'm pretty sure this little back section, right? Yeah, okay, no, that's, that's part of the, yep, yeah, that's cool. All right, we don't have to add to that. That layer is pretty well completed. I'm confused about that top section, though. Okay, so we definitely got to do this little top area. We can do that one. And we can do that one. Oh, it's starting to come together, baby. Oh, it's starting to look awesome. Um, I can't actually remember how to get over here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so all together then, we're going to need one, two, and then there's two more up there as well. So four. Four all up. Oh, oh yeah, and that's all holes, right? I hope. I'm pretty sure. So we need three more. And then the gun port will, like, connect the rest of that all up. Fantastic. Okay. May as well go and throw a little gun port back here. That Wait, this was going to be our maybe one. Oh, it's too late to pick it up as well. Ah, that's fine. Well, I think just to go and end this one, we're going to go and collect the resources to get the rest of our walls all completed. Our walls, our planks all completed. And then I'm going to turn my attention very, very soon to getting these gun ports done. Honestly, mad respect to anyone who's just gone ahead and built ships in one sitting. I didn't realize how much effort this takes. Well, not so much effort. It's kind of just mindless grinding at the end of the day, but it takes time. Time that I do not have a whole lot of. <laughs> but it's fun nonetheless. I kind of like it. It's really, really cool. Um, I got to get up there, right? Yes, I do. 
Yes, indeed, I do. Okay, let's not go and fall down too far now. Lunge it. There we go. Okay. Check that fella in there. Okay, is there any way that I can get up there without like a staircase or something? Maybe we can just... Yep, I can kind of click it on. There we go. And the last little bit. Bam. So, the top part of our ship is done. The bottom part of the ship is done. Um, it's just the middle of the ship that still needs to be completed now. And I guess... This is what I wasn't sure about. It looks like staircases actually actually need to be built in a certain place. What would happen if I were to fall in there, by the way? Is there any way I can get out without destroying a piece of the ship? I don't think there would be. Okay, so I was going to end the episode here. However, I was just talking to Ian, the, uh, the owner of the little base over in this direction. And um, he is kindly offered up a bunch of thatch to put towards our our build over here yeah so apparently uh, uh you know what apparently i gotta drink some water is what's up no apparently uh this island isn't that great for thatch so what he actually does is head over to the main base uh with a bear and apparently there's like reeds or something down there and he just tears them up to bits and uh yeah Apparently that's the easy way of collecting thatch on our current island. So I guess once our ship is actually functioning and we've got all of our gun ports installed, which we're about to do now, um, thatch will no longer be an issue. And then we can go and replace all of the thatch of Ian's that we have used ever so gratefully. What an absolute champion. In fact, you know what we should do while we're here? We should fill these two fellas here up. I do have issues. Look, this here. This has happened so many times today. It doesn't let me drag it. It doesn't let me like, oh, they let me that time. Yeah, sometimes it just doesn't let me transfer all inventory. I don't understand why. Now, what thatch was he actually talking about? Oh, this, the roots. I assume that. <laughs> Damn, that's a, wait. How much can I carry of this? I don't know how much I actually need, but I, I think I would, I th yeah. That should be more than, you know what? You know what? We should probably put some of that back. We should probably put some of that back. As far as wood goes, I will also replace this but I'm gonna take 20,000. That's a little bit too much, isn't it? This is the first time I've ever been like completely heavy. Maybe we'll just take 10,000. And if we're gonna come back and get more, we come back and get more. Making my way downtown, walking quite slow actually because I'm carrying so much wood and thatch. <laughs> oh good, I can still jump. I wasn't sure about that. I was like, what's this? I'm gonna get all the way over there and I can't jump. Anyways. Let's get all of these roots and this little itty bit of wood across. Watch fiber be the problem now, right? Fiber is going to be the issue. Uh, what do we need? We need large gun ports. And uh, a, a guy over on the Discord, our, our group Discord, which, by the way, if you want to join, discord.gg slash Miola. Uh, a guy called Michael actually has a list from when he built his India Man ship, um, which would have been amazing amazing to use a little earlier on but it's all good um he says that we need altogether 24 gun ports so we've already got one this is going to make it six more and in a second we're going to find out exactly what we are lacking which of course it's going to be more wood and more fiber all right i think we might just about have all of the resources that we should need to get the final walls up on our ship <laughs> I'm excited now. I'm really excited now. So, I went and collected a bunch of fiber. I actually haven't checked the exact numbers on that one there. Uh, went and grabbed a little bit more wood. Not from trees, but from Ian's chest because I'm lazy. You guys know that by now, though. That's nothing, that's nothing new. <laughs> uh, so, we ended up collecting about that much straw. So, quite a bit. Quite a bit. I don't know. 30,000. That's, that's quite a bit of straw. Um, yeah, I guess we're just going to throw it all across now. And then we just... Hope for the best. So we've got six on us, one on the ship already. That means we need 17 more. How many? 19! Ho! We even got a little bit extra, just in case. Nice. Nice. I just want to see our ship completed with all of the walls up. And then I'm assuming we're going to need stairs. Wait, where do we craft stairs from? I have I don't even know. We're going to have to look into that. I might not even have learnt the skills for it yet. Are there like building skills for stairs? Wooden staircase. Uh, maybe I crafted on my own inventory. We really got to do a like rehash of skills soon anyways. Medium stone gates and a bunch of esoteric of building down there. <laughs> yeah, 
All right, now that we've actually got a ship that we want to repair and you know keep keep afloat, uh, we're gonna have to definitely, definitely, well, learn to repair stuff efficiently. All right, well, 23. Let's find out if it is enough to get the job done. It is nearly nighttime. Let's see if we can get this done before the sun sets once and for all on another fantastic day of Atlas. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, eight. So, bottom level first. One, two, three, four. And yes, every one of these will have a cabin. Of course. Of course. That's a silly question if you're wondering that one. Every single one has to have... Did I say a cabin or a cabin? Cabin? Wait, what am I saying? A cannon. It needs a cannon. Oh my gosh, I'm losing my mind. I'm honestly losing my mind. Gun ports all the way around the ship. I want one down there, though. Down there. There we go. There we go. There we go. Is that this whole side done? Just about. Uh, yep, none can sit on the back, of course. That would make a lot of sense. One, two, and three. Wait. One, two, and three. Did I do three over the other side? Or did I just do two on this level? One, two, and three. Oh, yeah, one of them was the one we already placed. That's right. Okay. I am losing my mind. I am definitely, most definitely losing my mind. Um, and then up here. Wait. Wait. We do need more. Oh, no. We forgot about the front of the ship. Oh, the list is wrong. Michael, your little list of resources. It's wrong. What am I missing for another one, though? Fiber. Of course, it's fiber. That 30,000 fiber wasn't enough. Let's hope. Let us pray to the gods of Atlas. Poseidon, the god of the seas. Please. Well, these, these two ain't going to cut it. One there. And then one there. So we can actually have cannons shooting out the front of the ship, in case you can't tell. I need two more! Ah, oh, man. I didn't even check how much we actually need to craft those two, but it's all good. It's all good. Okay. So, what's this? Like, 10th time lucky? 5,200 of the good stuff. That's gotta be enough. I'm pretty sure it was like 1,000 and a half. 1,000 and a half? Good English, mate. Uh, large gun ports. These ones right here. Yeah, one and a half thousand. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> all right. There's our two final. And now that. That's got to be it once and for all. There can't be anything left to... No, oh, man. I don't even know how to get up from here. Ugh. It's like a little... It's a little maze to get across this thing. Oh, oh, gush. Gush? Gosh. Oh, my God. I'm getting all tongue-tied. Um, <laughs> I can't even run in a straight line right now. It's been a long day. What can I say? Okay. There's one. And there is the other. And I think that is it. I, I could be wrong. But I think that is everything. All we need now is walls, doorways to go and block this sort of stuff up, uh, floors, staircases so we can actually get to the bottom floors of our ship, um, and obviously stairs to get up to the next level of our ship, and obviously everything, you know, sails and that sort of stuff. So there's still a couple more steps along the way till this thing is completely ready, but it's starting to look like a ship. <laughs> it's starting to resemble what we want it to resemble, which is obviously something that can float on water, which I guess it could probably do at the current stage. It could definitely float. It wouldn't be too good at steering or controlling or moving for that matter, but it's a ship. Almost. Almost. And on that note, the silhouette of the Captain Miola is going to side out for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, then make sure to go ahead and wave. No, no, no. No, we're getting it wrong. No, no, no. But go ahead, punch that thumbs up. Make it rain, those thumbs ups. And I'll be back very, very soon with stage three of our ship build, which I guess is going to be more of the interior type action. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you soon. Bye for now.